musical sensation, Celtic Woman, is here. Performance you don't want to miss. From their home village in Ireland, Japan, and all the way to the savannas of South Africa, our next guests share their centuries-old Irish tradition of telling stories through song. Celtic Woman is a Grammy-nominated, multi-platinum, international sensation that's been named Billboard's World Album Artist of the Year six times. Now performing Homeland from their new album, Ancient Land. Please welcome Megan Walsh, Mairead Carlin, Ava McMahon, and Tara McNeil of Celtic Woman.
with Celtic woman Megan, Mairead, Ava, and Tara. Hi, guys. Hello. Thank you for being here. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. So much, Thank you. That was lovely, the song that you just performed. Tell us about yeah. it. Homeland. Tell us about Homeland. Well, this is from our brand new album, Ancient Land, which we recorded in the very cool Real World Studios, which mm -hmm. some people may know as Peter Gabriel's studio over nice. in the UK. That's awesome. Yeah, and um, this song was actually written by McCanley, who's a really awesome Irish songwriter, and we really wanted to do that with this album, you know, work with new Irish songwriters. Absolutely. So, what does it take to get into Celtic Woman? We all grew up, um, you know, very passionate about music. We all have a different story, but definitely music has been part of all of our lives since the beginning. And Celtic Woman has always been an incredible platform for okay. Irish talent and, you know, ambassadors for Irish music. So um, I suppose it just takes that passion, um, diligence, um, working hard, grafting, but also just loving what we do. Definitely. It's got to be awesome to get into the group, too, because you get to, you know, first of all, you probably look up to the women growing up, and then Absolutely. you get to travel everywhere. You get the to go world. everywhere. Yeah. yeah. I remember watching the first ever Celtic Woman special and just being in awe of the women. Right. And now, like, I'm getting to share the stage with these incredible women. It's just, it is a dream come true. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> now, Tara, you're the only one to play an instrument. Yes, I play violin and uh, yes. harp in the show, which I, I absolutely love because the violin is just another voice. We have three yeah. vocals, but then I get to sing with the violin. Definitely. And it's lovely to have the instrumental numbers and Beautiful. bring out the trad, trad pieces in the show. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> how, does, how does one get into the harp? Like, I, what is I like the, you I know, love the harp. I want to do the it's harp. Favorite. Like, well, forget you know, guitar, harp. Yeah, well, I love it. And it's the national symbol of Ireland. So, and I had the red hair. I had to take the national symbol <laughs> of Ireland. Uh, take the whole package. How long have you been playing harp? I started when I was about seven and started the violin when I was about eight. Wow. Yeah. But I love cool. it. I really do. And Megan, you recently met one of your idols. I think we both have the same idol. Yes. Um, we were lucky enough to meet Dolly Parton last week. So yeah. wonderful. Talking about transcending genres, I mean, you know. I know, yeah. It was incredible. You know, my mum actually took me to see her when I was little. Uh -huh. And I, when we got home, I was like, I need a guitar. I need right. a guitar now, and my parents <laughs> went out and uh, got me a pink guitar, uh -huh. and my mum added rhinestones to it. Nice. <laughs> I was adamant I was going to be Dolly Parton. <laughs> so tell us about your upcoming tour, Ancient Land. So we start our Ancient Land tour tonight here in Nashville. We are so excited. That is so wonderful. Yeah. Nice. That is so great. We love it here so much, and um, we've been here every year since I've been in yeah. the group that we've been on tour, and definitely Nashville holds a really special place in all of our hearts. It's yeah. the place of music, so to music start it... City. Yeah, yeah, Music City. Yeah, Music City. So to start it here tonight is going to be really special. Does the country music scene embrace the Celtic music scene? Oh, absolutely. Do you guys kind of coincide a little definitely. bit? Definitely. They're actually so similar. Um, recently, we were out doing a promotional trip, and we were in a bluegrass kind of um, uh -huh. restaurant, and one of the tunes came on, and I said to Tara, that's a trad tune. I know the tune. Yeah. And uh, it was actually a bluegrass tune. So it just shows you how much the two worlds have kind of collided. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think we also have similar humor and similar personalities, like right. the Irish and the Southern. I always feel very at home whenever I'm here. So. Right. Speaking of which, can you, can you teach us some Gaelic? Do you guys know Gaelic? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, do you want to say, we'll, we'll start with something hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah Why not? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's perfect. Go, go, rev, rev, ma, ma, a go. A gut. Go rev my gut. Yeah! That was good! Go rev my gut. Yeah. That was good! That's thank you? That's yeah. thank you. That's a lot of effort for thank you. And then a good one for cheers is yeah. sloncha. Sloncha. Yeah. yeah. You say that a lot now. Sloncha. 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 Is that right? Salo yeah, not sloncha. Sloncha. I'm not from sl Southern Ireland. She does. She's adding syllables to Gaelic like already. Did I? Sloncha. Sloncha, y'all. Thank you, Megan, Mairead, Ava, and Tara for more information on the Celtic Woman Tour. Head to thinklearnvin.com. We'll be right back. Sloncha. Sloncha. Sloncha.